I think writer's block really comes from the concept. I think the, the only times that people get writer's block is when they don't know what they're saying. And if that's the case, don't write a song. Because the whole point of writing a song is that you've got to have something to say. So there's no point just going, okay, let's just write a song about this guy who like wanders down the road and do that. Okay, fine, great. But is that really going to be, you know, there's got to be a story. There has to be something for a song to hang off. There's got to be depth, whatever that depth is. I'm not saying it's got to be like a concerto or it's got to be like the most deepest, weirdest, strangest sort of lyric in the world or trying to be clever for the sake of it. What does it hang off? Where, it, well, why are you doing it? Why are you writing the song in the first place? You're writing it because ultimately you're trying to say something. That's really what songs should be about. And I think the great songs have always got a story behind them. The great songs that stand the test of time will have a story behind them. What are they saying? How are they communicating it? Those creative ideas will hit you in the middle of the night, first thing in the morning, someone said something to you, oh, that's cool, jot it down, make a note of it. I've got a lyric book, I write things in there all the time, I draw in there, I've just got ideas in there, I've got my phone. With technology now, it's so easy, voice note, ah, oh, blah, 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 I was, you know, walking around the other day singing on my phone in the train station, and people looking at me like I'm a bit odd, but at the same time, I don't really care, because I'm like, it's an idea and I don't want to lose it. So, yeah, you just need to sort of make sure that your creative ideas are not lost, and when you don't have them, you can sort of go back to them and go, actually, that was really, really cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna flesh it out now. I'm gonna work on that idea until you get a song at the end of it. And hopefully it's a good one. And if not, move on, don't worry about it. You're not always gonna write a great song, so just move on. I think collaboration is a really good thing. I can write a song on my own, but I find it a lot harder and a lot more challenging when it's just myself. And I'm sure if you're a songwriter on your own, just working on your own in your own space, wherever that may be, you don't have that other voice apart from your own voice in your head to say, is it good? Is this cool? Does that work? Is it long enough? Is, it, is people gonna like it? Oh my God, do I sound okay on it? It's the demons, I call them, that, that fight with you when you're writing a song. And knowing that is something that you're forever working out. You just gotta sort of sometimes just draw a line under it. I mean, I, I studied art, I, I did art a lot and painted and stuff. And I always found that I used that in the same reference with music. When is the painting finished? How many layers of paint can you put on? Or how many things can you stick on it for it to be whatever? What texture is it? What, when, 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 when do you go, I've done it. There you go, finished. And that's, that's one of the hardest parts, I think. I think knowing, that you've, you can you can sort of put it to bed is a good thing. And I think maybe undercook it. I always will try and undercook it a tiny bit. I will try not to push it too far. And I've been so guilty sometimes. When I first started producing, you put everything into it, you know, and you get to the point where like, hold on, I've got like, you know, cowbells and kicks and hi-hats and tambourines and shakers and this and that and that and that and that. Before you know it, the whole arrangement is like full to the brim of all this stuff and you go, I put too much in it. I've overcooked it. I've gone too. I've gone too far because I'm excited and I want it. I want all these things to go on. I'm like, damn. But then when I've undercooked it a bit more and underplayed it and not put in as much as maybe you know I want to, and there's something almost quite nice about that. I think with 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 the writing process to keep it moving forward, you've got to keep referencing what it's about. That's why I do this two day thing because you can sometimes deviate a little bit off there and you want to try to keep bringing it back. So when you have that headspace, let's say after day one, and you've, you've recorded it roughly, or the main bits of it sort of in place, like the main statements are in, are in there, then you know where you're going and then you've got that headspace that night to get wasted. Um, no, I'm joking. And then you can come back to it the next day and go, ah, okay, this, we all agree now that we've, we've lived with it a little bit and we're not in the studio and we're not in the room and we've gone, okay, cool, that is right here. Or we really don't like that part, let's rework it. There's nothing wrong with reworking it, nothing wrong with that at all. And I think it's important to make sure that the lyrics are really strong, that really, is that really the word you want to use? Is that, is that as good as it can be? I would say the main, the main thing you've got to be careful of is um, not to be like anybody else, really. I mean, I think we're all influenced by people, and I think that's really important. But I think you, you need to sort of don't make the don't make the mistake of just being the next thing because that's the point. You know, I think you've got to try and ex experiment with it, have fun with it. The more fun, the more experimenting, and the more things you do, 
with stuff, you're going to fall onto things that hasn't been done in that way before. So I think that's where you'll be. It'll make you happy. Is what I'm trying to say. I think it'll make you happy if you're doing things that you that that that, that feel right. Don't just go for the. Oh yeah, I'm going to make loads of money because that's going to be really great. It's like, well, okay, okay well, is that really in the long term? Is that going to are you going to be that happy in a few years down the line? Think about it. We all need to pay the bills, but try and balance it out because it's a life and it's your life and you want to make sure that you're making the right decisions. <laughs>